Welcome back to another exciting episode. Today, we're going to do the Galaxy S10e initial setup. So come along with me and see what we can see. Now when you set this thing up, what you have to do is actually go online with the instructions that you saw on the unboxing. I'll put a link down below for that video. And just follow the directions. It's actually very simple. First thing you have to do is charge this phone up to 100%. Then afterwards, you have to kind of put things together. Now, there's a little place up here that is a little key that came with um, the Samsung that you will again see in the unboxing. All you do is you put this right in a little hole. What that will do, you press in and that releases the tray that you put the SIM card in as well as the memory card. Now the SIM card, of course, comes in this little card here. You have to disassemble it. Just kind of pop it right out. Be a little gentle with it. You put that right in the tray card, a tray holder. Snap right on in, like so. As you see there. Then, what I got is 512 gigabyte uh, mini SD card, because it can take up to 500 uh, gigabytes. Excuse me, 512 gigabytes. So I went ahead and got the maximum. Because again, doing videos and such, the more memory you have, the better. Now this, uh, I will go ahead and put a link down below in case you're interested in getting, getting this. This is kind of the cheapest of the 512 I could find. Now that, of course, pops right on in as well. It takes a little bit of finagling. There we go. So that popped in. And then you just slip that right back in to what originally popped out. Again, it takes a little bit of finagling. There we go. Make sure that's nice and flush. And if all goes well, go ahead and on this side, you will see an on-off button. Now that on-off button is also a thumbprint reader, but we'll go ahead and turn it on. Take off the film. goes through its load up screen and it recognizes it as an AT&T phone, which is great. All right, and it starts with the setup. Now, before I actually go and do that, I went ahead and bought a case that has a screen protector already on it. Now, supposedly this has a screen protector already there um, on the phone itself. I got the uh, the Guardian, which is for the Samsung Galaxy S10e. I got the blue version. Let's open this up. It comes in a nice box. And pop this thing out. Right, 
has all the information here, how to install it, all that good stuff. Okay, on the corner here, there's a little divot. Go ahead and push on that. I should pop everything out. Pop that in there. Oops. Got to take the back protector off. There we go. Go ahead and pop that in there. Put this right on top. That was dumb, kind of did it backwards. Put that in like that. There we go. Then we put the back on. So they're actually nice and tight, that's good. So let's go. You can pick what type of language you want, which of course we're gonna stay with English. Okay, let's go. Check out some of the information to get started. Terms of agreement, uh, policy, setting diagnostics, um, information linking, and there's actually a way you can go back and read that over later, but I will go ahead and do that for now. Um, we have different networks. I'm gonna go ahead and pick one of my networks off camera. As for the uh, password, of course, password I'm not gonna do here on camera. We're gonna go ahead and do that off camera. So once we put in the password, hit connect. And we are connected. Hit next. Go ahead and check for updates. Uh, no updates there. Go ahead and sign in to your Google account. I'm gonna go ahead and do that offline. All right, after you Sign in and put in your username and password. You hit next. And keep your account updated with this phone number. So we're gonna go ahead and scroll all the way down, which of course you scroll up uh, with your thumb. And it says, yes, I'm in, or you skip that, whichever you wanna do. Then it goes through the uh, terms of agreement all that good stuff, you know, Google Play terms, privacy policy. Hit agree to go next. It'll get the account information. Choose a backup to restore. Oh, okay, now I get it. So this is my current phone. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. So it's going to ask me what to restore. I'm going to go ahead and restore everything. Then to protect your phone, I can go ahead and do face, face recognition, fingerprints. I can do a pattern, a pin, password. Um, not now. I'm going to go ahead for sake of this video. We're not gonna do that right now, but I am gonna go ahead and do a pin later and then do a fingerprint. Okay, I'm gonna skip anyway. Okay, you're not gonna worry about that. Back up and storage, yep, did that. Uh, use allow scanning. These are things that you can actually go um, back and forth on. You can turn off, turn on at a later time. Now 
it says adding finishing touches. All right, now it's going into the AT&T setup. So transfer your content and set up voicemail accounts and all that good stuff. Hit next. Transfer content. All right, so we're going to transfer contents, photos, videos, and more. So we're going to have to skip for now. And now I just set up different services, um, my AT&T, Wi-Fi calling, email, that kind of stuff, which I'm you know, going to do offline. Okay, I logged into my AT&T. Now set up Wi-Fi calling. It says, please try to set up Wi-Fi calling again later. Okay, not sure why, but. Ooh, I can set up all my different emails. That's really cool. I like that. But we're gonna go do that a little bit later. Different monthly apps. It says I can, it's suggesting that I do. Don't really want any of those. Go ahead and skip. Um, ATT Mobile Security and Car Protect. Okay. All right. So bring settings, apps, photos, music, all that kind of stuff um, to the device. It says how to connect wirelessly. Well, only available with Samsung Galaxy devices. Well, this is, my old one is not a Sam, Samsung Galaxy device. Um, cable USB connection. So I'm gonna do cable and USB connector. So I'll go ahead and hit that one. Next. All right, so we're supposed to use So let's see, use a USB connector and cable to stop it. Uh, connector to the devices, plug the USB connector into your new phone. Okay, so this is the adapter. I didn't know exactly what it was for <laughs> when, when I did the unboxing. So this supposedly goes into here. I have to take the case off to do this. Okay, but we're going to skip this for now, and then hit next. Sign into your Samsung account. I'm just going to go ahead and continue with Google. Go ahead and allow that. Okay, it's asking if you want to use the customizable service. Um, you can, you know, to be able to manage your data or do some, you know, receipt of marketing information, all that stuff. I really don't want to do any of those, so I will not check any of those. Accounts have been connected. is currently looking for backups. Oh, uh, that's an older one, so we're gonna say okay. And hit next. And install. So now it's gonna install all the updates, uh, excuse me, all the apps from the other phone, which it did. Go ahead and hit finish. And there we go. We have now set up the Galaxy S10e. Beep. All right. So that's really all there is to it. Thank you for coming along with me for the initial setup of the Galaxy S10e from Samsung. Now, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that bell right at it. And as always, have a great day.